Hey team, welcome to this introduction to Hugo tutorial. The goal of this series is to take you from a lion cub with basic web design knowledge to creating your first Hugo site. In this series, you'll learn how to set up a Hugo site, the basics of Hugo layouts, partials, and templating, set up a blog, and finally use data files. By the end of this series, you'll have the foundational knowledge to build your own Hugo site. Let's get into your first lesson. What is Hugo? Hugo is a static site generator. It takes a directory of source files and runs a build process over them to generate a purely static website. What makes it Hugo site unique is its unparalleled build speeds and strict conventions around layouts, taxonomies, and content. It's a static site generator that powers high profile websites, such as Let's Encrypt, 1Password, the Lino documentation, and digital.gov. Hugo is one of the simplest static site generators to install, as it's distributed as a single binary, one of the many perks of a Go program. If you're using Mac OS or Linux, then Homebrew is the easiest way to install Hugo. Once you have Homebrew installed, you can run brew install Hugo. If you're on Windows, then Chocolatey Package Manager is the way to go. Once chocolate is installed, you can run choco install hugo-extended-confirm. Let's triple check that all went to plan. In your terminal, check the Hugo version. Hugo version. If that printed out a version number, you're good to go. If not, consult the Hugo documentation or reach out on the Hugo community forms. Now we're gonna set up our Hugo site. In your terminal, navigate to the directory where you want your Hugo project to live and run this command. Hugo new site, and then the name of the site. I'll call it my first Hugo site. Hugo will set up the scaffolding for your site. Open your site up in your favorite code editor and poke through the contents. You'll see a number of directories that probably don't mean anything to you at this stage. I'll give a brief explanation of each one, but don't fret if you don't understand them right now. They'll become more familiar over the course of this series. We have archetypes, which define the default metadata, also known as front matter, for new content. You don't need to worry about archetypes for this series. Content, your typically markdown content for pages lives here. Data. CSV, JSON, XML, or TOML files that can be accessed like a read-only database. Layouts, the page templates for your content. Static, all your assets that don't need processing, often images, fonts, PDFs, etc. Themes, jumpstart your Hugo site with an existing theme. We won't be using themes in this series. Config.toml the configuration for your soon-to-be flourishing Hugo site. Stay tuned for the next lesson, where we'll learn the basics of Hugo layouts.